Well, it was a rematch of the semifinals in Joliet that went to Ron Caps, broke up the Wilkerson family party. And Daniel was trying to race against Father Tim in the final round. Of course, Ron was on his way to winning the Route 66 Nationals when the laundry fell out at half track and allowed Tim Wilkerson to drive around. Yes, well, that's why you always need to make sure that your laundry is completely folded and put away where it's supposed to be. Exactly. Make sure the drawers close all the way. Exactly. I do believe this is the first time in Mission Foods Too Fast, Too Tasty Challenge history that we have had two former winners of the challenge race each other in eliminations. Well, it is still a fairly new program. And remember, since it is not contested at the four wide events, we haven't had a lot of opportunities. But, yeah, you're right. Both of these drivers used to go in rounds on Sunday, and that gives them the opportunity to be part of this program on Saturday. For Boncoat, Boxo Tools, Summit Racing Equipment, that's the Mustang on the left side, and Ron Caps in the right. For Napa Auto Parts, the Gosby Racing Toyota. For the now team owner and also three-time champion, Ron Caps. Chad Green been one of the real feel-good stories of Nitro this year. He's been at the top five in points in Funny Car most of the season. Won the Too Fast, Too Fit, Tasty Challenge out in Pomona at the Winter Nationals. Ron Caps may be a little bit of surprise that he's yet to win a national event this season. But that car still sits up with normally does the points near the top. And it was the Too Fast, Too Tasty Challenge winner in Joliet. Well, Ron Caps is going to win it. Wasn't pretty. But he's going to win it. 591, 179 miles an hour. Chad Green's car took the tire off at the step. He ends up going 10.01. You saw Chad. I don't know. I mean, it's it's got to be tremendous patience to try to wait that long to let your car calm down and then try to get back out for the gas. But that's what he tried to do. 